So we're at the Loughborough University swimming pool at the moment and we're doing some testing with Andy, who's the guy swimming in the background, and some of his other training partners looking at their starts and turns performance. Swimming is quite a traditional sport. There's a lot of reliance on cameras um, and manual methods, stopwatches, that's what all the coaches have. And there isn't a massive uptake of more complex technologies. What we were trying to do is implement novel technologies to monitor stuff more quantitatively so that they could keep records and understand how athletes are progressing. We're mostly focused on the skills. So their starts and their turns is our predominant focus. If we can give them a few extra numbers that they can better understand the performance. The regulation is that you must break the surface of the water within 15 metres. So that's a significant part of the, the length and that is the fastest part. So if you can get an advantage on the start, then definitely. Whereas if some guys do 1500 metres, the start is not very important, but they do lots and lots of turns during that time. So if you can shave tiny amounts of time from every turn, then yeah, you can make a massive difference to overall time. We've been getting them to do three maximal starts and three maximal turns each. What we've got on the wall is a thin film pressure pad that we've encapsulated so that it's waterproof and so it looks right for the swimmers. We get real-time capture of their pressure during the tumble turn and things we ascertain from this is the depth of their, their, both of their feet, the orientation of their feet, how long they're on the wall and also pressure information from which we can derive their force so we can look at their technique without relying on cameras. There are different schools of thought in swimming as to, for example, with tumble turning, whether you should turn and have your toes facing up and rotate 180 off the wall, or whether you should turn and hit the wall 90 degrees. And this, normally it's hard to see that with a camera. We have tested probably in excess of 3,000 starts. The amount of data we have is huge. And knowing what to do with it is a big challenge from our side of the table. I can do 10 sessions a week in the pool sort of training 5.30 to 7.30 in the morning three times a week, six to eight at night during the week. With the evolution of technology, just the little tweaks of those inches that you need to make good swimmers into great swimmers and great swimmers into Olympians and your elite athletes, I definitely think that engineering's got a place in sport. Everything here that's not supposed to get wet gets very wet, laptops and all. We're still partially in this learning phase of what does it all mean because coaches and athletes do not have the time to sit around. If they don't get feedback, then they're not interested. They need stuff that's going to make a difference to them. If I can get to a point where the coaches are comfortable with how stuff is fed back and they want to see that data, then that's the biggest win for me.